My name's Ryan. You know, I guess in the scene I'm known as Sneak. I'm in my 40s. I've been documenting graffiti for probably the better part of 20 plus years. I was always kind of interested in uh, various art and stuff, but I think with uh, graffiti specifically, it was sort of the, the mystery of it all. I remember at a young age seeing, uh, you know, some tags in the neighborhood and stuff and uh, I would sort of catch my eye and there'd always be that like I wonder what why that's there you know and then you know maybe uh, on the way to school a new one would pop up and I'd wonder what's that all about I'd be describing it or trying to describe some of these things to somebody and then I'd bring somebody there and then lo and behold it would be gone whether that be you know erased by the city or somebody else painting over it I think that I started taking pictures of it just to help me better communicate it to other people because of course it wasn't like I could tap something on my phone, take a picture and then send it to somebody that way. So of course it was just the, the mystery and the anonymity of it all that I'd always be really curious about. I crop a lot of my photos just with, I guess that in mind where I'm trying to keep the spot or where the actual graffiti was, uh, was documented, sort of a mystery. So when I first started, it was very much just those Kodak disposable cameras, I used those religiously, you know, where it was just something easy, throw it in your pocket. If it fell or skittered on the ground while you're jumping a fence or running somewhere, it doesn't matter. The thing's pretty much bulletproof. Having the physical copy and then sharing them with people, whereas now I can do that without having to print anything and can share them with hundreds of thousands of people. I hesitate to count the amount of thousands of dollars I probably spent on processing film and albums and whatnot. Some of the people that were actually processing the photographs would be like, you're the guy that processes those graffiti pictures. Like, that's so cool. And so, which even hearing that, I had mixed feelings about. Like, can I trust these people? Am I, am I inadvertently, like, making this less of a mystery by me bringing them to these places and people noticing what I'm processing? You get your roll back, you're opening it up, and then oh, there's a big thumb in the middle or something's in there. And yeah, I, I cherish those photos the most. Because, you know, because a lot of these are, in just the most random places where you, even myself, you know, on some mornings I'm out in these random areas in the city and, you know, so I, sometimes I'm asking myself, like, what the heck am I doing here, you know, whether that be because it's minus 40 and I'm trudging around in a couple feet deep snow or whatever the reason, but uh, you can appreciate probably that some of these areas that aren't frequently traveled do have some interesting people there. One city that I'd like to seek out to document it. I mean, maybe New York if I was uh, really pressed, but uh, you know, Montreal and Toronto, areas like that are, are ones that I've documented in the past and will likely continue to do so. Your shirt. Thank you. All right, that's good. All right.